Congratulations on your pregnancy. This video provides an overview of the Panorama non-invasive prenatal screening test. Panorama is a screening test that is performed during pregnancy to determine who is at high risk for having a baby with specific genetic disorders. Most women will have a healthy baby. The majority of the time, however, these genetic disorders are not associated with the family history and are instead random errors during conception. Therefore, screening tests can help identify those women that are at an increased risk. Let's review the genetic conditions that are screened for. Trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome, causes intellectual disability, heart defects, and other birth defects. Trisomies 18 and 13 are less common but more severe than Down syndrome. They cause severe intellectual disabilities and many birth defects. Most of these children will pass away before their first birthday. Triploidy also causes severe birth defects and those babies do not survive. This also can pose health risks for the mother. The other conditions that Panorama screens for involve the sex chromosomes. Monosomy X or Turner syndrome causes learning disabilities and these children may have heart defects, be shorter than their siblings, and have infertility. The sex chromosome trisomies also cause learning disabilities in some children. These children may be taller than their siblings and may also have reduced fertility. How is Panorama performed? During pregnancy, some of the DNA or genetic information that represents the baby crosses into the mother's bloodstream. The Panorama test uses a blood sample from the mother to identify this DNA from the baby and to look for these genetic disorders that can affect the baby's health. Two tubes of blood are drawn from the mother any time after nine weeks of pregnancy. The father can also provide a cheek swab if he is available. Providing the father a sample may increase the chance that Panorama is able to provide a result. Once Panorama is performed, the possible results that you could be given for each disorder are low risk, high risk, or no result. A low risk result means the test detected a very low chance for the baby to have one of the genetic conditions Panorama screens for. The risk is never zero, so although this result lowers the chance that the baby has one of these conditions, it does not eliminate the possibility. There is a small chance that this test will not be able to return any results. In these cases, a second blood sample may be requested from you. A high-risk result means that there is a very high chance that the baby has one of the genetic disorders that Panorama screens for. The actual result will tell you what the chance is that your baby has that disorder. Because Panorama is a screening test and is not diagnostic, further testing is needed to confirm the results. This further testing can be invasive testing, such as CVS or amniocentesis, or testing the baby after delivery. In the event of a high-risk result, you should speak to your doctor or genetic counselor about these tests that can confirm the results. So what does Panorama tell you? Keep in mind, it is not a diagnostic test. It will not confirm that any of these conditions exist. It will only provide information about the risk of these conditions in your current pregnancy. What are your other options? For women who want or need more conclusive information about the baby's DNA and health, chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis are available. These are diagnostic and invasive, meaning they can tell you for sure if the baby has one of these genetic conditions, although there is a small chance that the procedure would cause a miscarriage. These also have the ability to identify many other genetic conditions not evaluated with this or other screening tests. You also have the option to decline all genetic screening and diagnostic tests during your pregnancy. Okay, you've decided Panorama is right for you. There are two decisions that you need to make. First, do you want to know the sex of the baby? If so, you can get that information from Panorama. Number two, do you also want to screen for more conditions? Panorama can screen for additional disorders called microdeletions, that is, conditions caused by small pieces of missing DNA. The five microdeletion syndromes on the Panorama screen are listed here, and the chance that your baby has one of these conditions is about one in a thousand. The risk may be higher if you have ultrasound abnormalities. These microdeletions cause intellectual disability and birth defects. If you want to screen for these additional microdeletions, you should know that screening does increase the chance you will receive a false positive result, that is, a high-risk result when the baby is not actually affected with that condition. The overall chance of a false positive result when you screen for all conditions, including microdeletions, is less than 1%. When ordering Panorama, the most common microdeletion, 22Q11.2, is included automatically unless you request otherwise. You can choose to have the entire microdeletion panel added 
and you can choose if you want to know gender. If you want more details on your options, you should speak to your healthcare provider and visit panoramatest.com. Although the panorama screening test will detect the majority of trisomies 21, 18, 13, and monosomy X, it does not detect 100% of cases. A low risk result does not guarantee a healthy baby. This test does not eliminate the possibility of other genetic problems, and it does not detect all genetic problems, birth defects, or other complications in a baby or pregnancy. A high risk result does not mean that the baby has that condition. It means that there is an increased chance for that condition. There is a small chance that you will need to send in a second or repeat sample in order to achieve a result. For more information, visit panoramatest.com or speak to your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching. We wish you a very healthy and happy pregnancy.